Hey guys, welcome back to the Cheese Boy channel. We got another box opening. We got some uh, Forgotten Realms draft booster box. I haven't opened too much uh, Forgotten Realms, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we can find in the treasure chest. <laughs> What's going on, friends? Welcome back to the Cheese Boy channel. We've got ourselves some Adventures of the Fallen Realm. I have actually not opened really any of the Fallen Realms yet. Uh, we're super behind. I know that there is two new sets since then. Um, but uh, but we're we're doing uh, we're doing Fallen Realms. How did everybody like this set? I think it's super cool looking. Just play Dungeons and Dragons. So definitely way big into uh, all the the D and D stuff. Of course, we'll kind of quick through the the commons, then we will get the uncommons. Then we get a rare. Again, I am behind the ball, and I'm really not really even sure what's uh, good or bad in this set. So uh, play along with me, and uh, <laughs> as we go on this path opening journey. Already messed up my piling over here, so whatever. Don't even care. Oh, that is a super cool looking Ebendevda uh, Dracolic. Super cool. Long rest. A uh, hand of Vecna. Prosperous Innkeeper. How do you like the land on this? That's really a really cool artwork. Sometimes, sometimes I think some of the best art is the is the lands. I always kind of half wanted to collect lands, just see if we could make a make a just like a big giant collection of all the lands from all the sets. Uh, Varus, very cool. Grizzlax. That one's, a, that one's a cool one, too. Goblin! Goblin! You know I'm a goblin fan. Gotta show off the goblins. Delena, the wild mage. Just chuck through this here as quick as I can for you guys. I don't wanna, don't wanna hold you up too much. Boom, owl bear. Vorpal sword. I remember playing D&D &D and Vorpal sword was that that was what you wanted. Well, super cool full forest. Uh, 
Triumphant Avenger. Goblin! Oh, and our first mythic, uh, Minsk, Beloved Ranger. light on the mythic so far. One good first row down. One mythic. Black dragon. Glad they did the, the dragon's full art. That is that's what they need. Frogamoth. Frog horror. That seems like something I would put in one of my decks. Make frog deck. Orb of Dragon Kind. Xanthar Guild Kingpin. Another mythic. Oh, the Beholder. I believe Beholders were good. I believe so. I may be wrong, but I think I remember them being good. I need to go back to like actually playing Friday Night Magic and stuff every week so that I that I'm back on the routine on what's good and what's bad. I only know like the couple like really good cards because they end up being the, the ones that pop up in all the articles. Wizard Spellbook. No Hunter. Goblin Morning Star. Uh, Nadar, Selfless Paladin. Oh, yes. I love these. These are so freaking cool. I'm so freaking cool. I uh, used to play, and uh, that's totally how the old uh, modules used to look. So cool. I'm easily amused. Flump. There you go. Dude. Cave of Frost Dragon. Rust Monster. Oh, there's an old, old classic. The Rust Monster. Meteor Swarm. Ford Sworn Paladin. And don't open like I used to. We used to when we had the store, we were we'd open oh, probably at least a dozen boxes of every set. Uh, White Dragon. Full art. Excellence. A gelatinous cube. Oh, our gelatinous cube is our uh, our rare with the uh, the showcase. Ah, uh, miss open. Don't miss sorting commons though. Commons, only commons. Just you get six, eight, ten boxes. So many, so many common cards. That's what you have employees for, right? 
Treasure chest. Limrith Desert Doom, our, our mythic full arts, super cool. Oh, and then a foil rare in the same pack, Instrument of Bards. I feel like that's the winner, winner, chicken dinner pack so far. Circle of Dream Druids. I feel like that was a good card, too. I feel like I saw that that was. Evolving Wilds. Is that the same one? Oh, it is. <laughs> well, at least it's a useful card. I mean, it's one that actually gets put in decks. Uh, Westgate region, vampire. Oh, that totally goes with the uh, uh, new uh, Innistrad stuff that's coming out. The Crimson Vow. A Den of the Bugbear. Dancing Sword. There's an old classic that they brought back. Uh, Dungeon Crawler. Oswald Fiddlebender. Bending his fiddle. Instrument of the Bards is a, a regular copy of that one that we just got as foil rare. So hopefully that's a good card. Since now we have two of it. Adult Golden Dragon. It's, dragons are good. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter even if they're bad. They're still good. Go Dragon. Clever Conjurer, well... Flame Skull. Oh, that's our mythic. Uh, a foil mimic. In the uh, cool showcase border. Two. Hall of the Storm Giants. Three or four of those lands now that we've gotten. A UN, UNT, Snake Rogue. Jelly and Ultra Jelly. And our final pack! Final pack! So I had to fall out the back. Try not to peek it too much. Monk class! And then a ray of frost. For a ray of Frost. Not a ton. Some mythics in there. 
I may have missed. Nope. So we got is a four mythics. Make sure we didn't miss anything here. Oh, we did bum 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 bum. Bard class, monk class, and there's our uh, our four mythics. Super cool. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, as always, we have more pack coming, pack openings coming. Especially since there's a new set that just came out, we got to be opening some Crimson Vow here real soon. And uh, we uh, didn't really open any. Um, of the previous in the strategy the midnight hunt so we got to get some more of that get some uh get some cards moving get them up on the store make it some money showing you some fun stuff you guys have a good one thank you very much for watching like and share and all that kind of stuff and i'll see you next time